Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Recently, I got the chance to test drive the 2021 Mercedes AMG GLB 35, and thus it's in the garage here for me to give you a complete underhood tour and an overview of all the major components as well as the maintenance service points. Powering the 2021 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLB 35 crossover SUV is a German-built 2.0-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine mounted transversely and driving all four wheels through a high-performance 8-speed DCT speed shift automatic transmission. Codenamed M260 E20 DEH, this version of the engine produces 302 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque for the U.S. market. It utilizes dual overhead camshafts with variable cam timing, four valves per cylinder, and has a twin scroll turbocharger with an electronically controlled wastegate. The engine is rated by the US EPA at 21 MPG city, 26 MPG highway, and 33 MPG combined. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts through a plastic intake snorkel at the top of the grill and into the air filter box on the driver's side of the engine compartment. From there, it's drawn into the turbocharger visible at the top and front of the engine. With a high output variation of the M260, air then travels across to the driver's side of the engine and through an air-to-water intercooler before heading to the throttle body and intake manifold at the rear of the engine. With the sound cover removed, you can see the components for the engine's direct fuel injection with its steel fuel rail and the top of the injectors themselves. Toward the front are the coil packs for its four spark plugs. Exhaust gases make their way out through the twin scroll turbocharger, which is shielded generously for thermal efficiency and protection of nearby components, including your fingers. The catalytic converter is mounted directly to it before the downpipe and downstream exhaust components. For service and maintenance, most serviceable components are easily located. The air filter box is up front just behind the radiator. Mounted on top of it is the engine control unit or ECU. This makes filter replacement a bit more of a time-consuming process than most cars with tools needed. Behind it is the 12-volt battery and brake fluid reservoirs found just behind it. Also here is the secondary coolant reservoir for the intercooler system. Windshield washer fluid can be found next to the filter box with its bright blue cap. The oil filler cap is found at the top of the engine with no need to remove the sound cover to fill. The oil filter is located on the rear passenger side of the engine and accessible to change from the top, not below. To check the oil, you must power up the car in accessory mode and read the level via computer system service menu on the instrument cluster. Lastly, the cooler reservoir can be inspected and filled on the passenger side of the engine compartment, just adjacent to the strut tower. Also notable on this vehicle is an AMG strut tower brace and the top of the strut show the connections for the adjustable suspension. Okay, my friends, there you have it for the 2021 AMG GLB 35. Now, if you've got a GLA 35, same underneath the hood, identical as those two vehicles are actually of the same architecture. If you'd like to see the test drive of this car, you can click right there. You can see that on our other channel, Test Driven TV, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.